Hi there. I'm here today to do another double page in the altered book. So you might have seen uh, one of the vlogs where I was talking about um, kind of um, not thinking about what I was doing with the cover before um, I jumped in and, and made a start on it. I think um, the few things that we spoke about was either painting around the side um, and then painting all the way to the gold line and then perhaps putting some scrapbook paper and then some material down the spine and same with the back. Um, my concern was with that was am I going to be able to keep it neatly in without making a mess? Um, and plus, I do think it would perhaps need a couple of coats of paint. So, yeah, I think that would possibly not work and just be messy. The other uh, thing that we spoke about is maybe losing this, what I've done, and just putting material on the front and, you know, folding it on, on here and then uh, matting this bit. Uh, which then I would lose that, which, you know, is not, it's not a biggie, is it? But I really do like this, this front spread. Um, and the other thing we said was about um, maybe putting the decorators, um, it's not decorators tape, framers tape, possibly, um, Because I have been meaning to have a look actually how it would would look. So possibility of doing that, which I think this is what I'm gonna go for. Um Let me think about this. So I've got a cold in my head's a bit fuzzled. Um, so where'd I go? Oh, this is stuck. <laughs> um, yeah, possibly like so. Um, Trying to pull this as, as tight as, as I can. So yeah, I do think that that's what I'm going to do. So I will tape around there. I will do the same at the back. And then I think I'm going to um, then cut some Tim Holtz paper um, to size. And then get some material uh, to go down time there so yeah that's what we're gonna do <laughs> but I'm not doing not doing that now I just thought um yeah I'll see how, how that looks so we are going to do this double page and we looked at images that we could use um I was gonna kind of place this together because it, it is the same picture I just cut it apart but um, with having to keep it away from the the spine to not create bulk I thought then that looked a bit weird so we was perhaps going to you know put them in different positions but on the page um, and we're going to put this paper on here and on here so I think I'm going to start by um, getting this ripped down because um, my printer doesn't print Ooh, borderless so I'm just going to start by taking the border off 
don't think I'll bother with that side because um, probably gonna have to cut that off whatever so I'm not totally sure how to um, how to do this <laughs> because with it already being like stuck in the box so I think what I'll do is I probably want it to go to around there so let's get a pencil and the end of let's pull it down a bit so we'd want it there and we'd want it say there so I will go down there oh. let's try and get it straight ish okay so let's keep that um because what i'm thinking is perhaps i can then get this inside the pocket and like draw the outline of the pocket if that makes any any sense so i'm going to do the same um to this sheet so i've got them both um the same size because if i've glued them down okay uh the pockets that they're still quite um spacey inside i'm thinking i could possibly the paper would fit into it and like i say then i could draw a line um and i'd I'm forgetting what i'm doing so probably tell that um yeah i'm just getting over a cord so um, i'm filming this um about a week a week before you'll you'll see it so i've just been off work this week had had a week's holiday and then as soon as it was time to go back to work um i came down with a stinking cold and um yeah with having um an illness anyway um you know um because i've got fibromyalgia um i obviously suffer with uh, fatigue and aches and pains anyway so when i get a cold it's um it's even worse so i don't think that's gonna work so maybe I could get my ruler against um I mean obviously it doesn't need to be to be perfect ish <laughs> who we're kidding <laughs> so Yeah, some things are quite difficult to do when um, it's the books already like together, and obviously the pockets are already in. So I, f I think I've just like gone up a little bit there, which was a bit, a bit unfortunate. I think I'm just going to take a little bit more off. Oh, it's so hard just taking that little, little bit. I think I might do it with a trimmer. Even though I don't particularly want straight edges, I, I don't think it's, um, it's worth agonising over. <laughs> I'm just going to take it a bit more down to get rid of that little blip that, that I did. So let's have a look at that. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. So if that's that side, to do that side, it's going to go like that, isn't it? So 
hopefully I folded the pockets down um, the same. my ruler Bit, a bit painful that um yeah this this one doesn't seem to fit um as as well so i think it's gonna kind of have to go like that. Uh, I'm just gonna go up. Whew, I'm absolutely red hot. Um, the last time I went downstairs, I was freezing, so I put the heating on, um, and now I've got my light on. Um, yeah, I'm not not totally sure about this. I think I've made it too much um, of an error. But saying that, there's going to be a pocket um, down here, so it doesn't matter uh, that it's short. And I don't mind that bit at all. So let's ink it, ink it up. I'm going to say it. You can only tell when you've done it, can't you, really? Um, and, and everything can be covered covered over and <clears throat> and stuff so just using that vintage photo so i don't want it right into that edge So I do think I just need to take a little bit more off of this side. See, it would have been a lot easier just to collage it. Um, but I did want to have just a piece. Keep one into push it right into that that corner so I think that will be fine um still need to just take a little bit off there ah now I've gone upwards right okay that's that's fine i say his pocket's going to go there anyway. Why? Why am I inking the bottom when I know it's going to be covered over? Who knows? Right, i am just got my uh, board and glue it down. I'm guessing that I'm going to have to rip the other one down slightly as well. In the middle yeah this cord's made me have quite a fuzzy fuzzy head um, and I'm already fuzzy headed uh, as it is so I find it pretty hard to um, think well not so much think but um, yeah ah oh, that's fine Let's um Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> right, let's have a look at this side now. 
because I think having it a little bit different actually adds a little bit of interest because they're not they're not twins are they um so I'm gonna try and just take a little bit more um I could do with being able to do it this way because say uh, Rachel from Roxy Creations is really good at doing this picking it up and then Oh, and I've only like just got the top bit of the paper. Yeah, I just can't do it. <laughs> I just can't do it. Um, <clears throat> you probably can't even see what I'm doing, to be honest. But I'm making a right mess of it. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Right, I am just going to try and do this with my um, fingers and just, yeah, just tear along it. That'll probably actually look better. Um, it's like I say, it's not supposed to be, it's a twin. It's like, yeah, we are matching it. Ooh, a little bit but um I don't want it exactly so if we had it around there I need to take some off there so that bit's fine that bit's fine I need to where's the pencil I need to just take Around there. Off. Yeah, I think I've gone wonky way. But again, the pocket's gonna um, <coughs> cover a lot of that bottom bottom bit. Right, I'm just going to open oh, the craft room door, see if it cools, cools down a little bit. Um, so just getting to here. in car I might as well just go round these images Okay, right, let's get that bit stuck down. I think I've drunk all my tea. I might have to pause in a minute and uh, go back out. I felt so dehydrated uh, with this cold. I, I've been drinking so much and then as soon as I've drunk it, I feel like I've not had a drink for hours. Um, my lips have all then dried up, all inside my mouth dead dry. Um, but I've been drinking absolutely loads, which is obviously a good, a good thing. I think that's still too wet, isn't it? Right. right, you're not going to see that anyway, so it doesn't matter that. It's not inked. Let's just give it a, a rub, rub over. I think 
I'm just going to get my um, art glitter glue just down this edge because I don't think the glue quite caught it. So that's that. Um, need to think about how high I want these pockets. Got some lids on. Let's just move that out of the way a minute. Put that over there. So this is the paper that I've chose to do the pockets and I've backed it in some 200 GSM because I'd only printed it on 100 GSM uh, copy paper. So I'll just take the top and bottom off. Um, right, let's have a think keep all these pieces because um, they'll be fine to do some collage in the book on another page so I could really do with getting one of the side edges off let me see if I can do it with my ruler with it being a bit thicker We all hold his breath there because <laughs> I did. <laughs> yeah, so I think probably um, that kind of um, height. So let me just measure that. Um, so it's it's about seven. So if we did it at seven and a half. Um, seven and a half down length width length um, oh I can't even think which way to put the paper in you can tell when uh, you're not very well can't you um, so it's that way so okay right <laughs> back in the room so we'll go seven and a half Try and make it I think it's a bit more than so but it's only a, a guesstimate. Yeah, and then the actual pocket is wants to be a bit of a 12 so if we do it 13 across that'll give us um, some room to make a little bit of a, a gusset so if I do the same again um, oh gosh what did I say <laughs> um, right 13 across so I think I'm going to do it that way. It's not far off anyway. Right. Let's just take that uh, edge up. And then, what was it? Wide. It's supposed to be just over seven and a half wasn't it so go to it about that is that about it hey i'm surprised because my head is is really <laughs> in a in a state of confusion so that's those um So let's have a think about this. So I 
think if we go a quarter, probably go a quarter and a quarter. Right, I think I want that to be the top, so I'll go. I think we'll do this at um, just over a quarter, like so. Um, let's let's see if that's kind of right. Yeah, I'm so surprised. So we want. Quarter, a quarter. We'll have that as the top, so and then just a bit more than a quarter. Okay. Oh, I do like this uh, little one. It's a lot more handy. Uh, Normally I will just fold my pockets myself because I can't be bothered to get the scoreboard out. So this is uh, lovely. So I'm just going to tuck the um, corners off. Like so. Fold these down. It's not very good um, bone folder. It's a little bit too tiny. But if you just bought the board and you hadn't got another one, it you know it would be fine. But yeah, it's actually uh, digs digs in yeah. So that's one. So. Do it with this one. I think that's better. Okay, and I forgot to just got there slightly, so it's not got so so much bulk. That's better. Probably lay lay a bit flatter now. Okay, and we'll do the same with this. And probably could have got away with doing um, just a quarter at the bottom as well. It's probably a little bit too too much. Um, yeah. That's that. Um, get the ink and give it an inky. Oh, I love this paper. It's a really lovely, um, grungy look to it. But yeah, it's fresh looking too. So this is our, the vintage green um, kit from Nanin at College Type. one of the background pages so that's that um, I'm not I don't know if I'm gonna stick it straight down or not so let's just say that's there we'll have to go yeah that's fine there and there I'm pretty impressed with those um, so yeah, I think I'm going to glue that down first. So I'm going to go as high as I can. So I'm going to go to there 
bring it in a little bit. So yeah, about there. So let's get <coughs> that stuck, stuck down. I think we, I said we'd get another double page done before um, and then go back to the beginning and make make the tags um, and journal cards or do some papers to, to put in the pockets. I don't think I want like journal cards and tags throughout because I think all that card will make it um, bulky. Okay. I'm just gonna just make sure this is totally dry before I shoot my book. see it but I don't want it um, lifting lifting up so that can go on there so I think I'm gonna stick stick that down now to glue on it because obviously it is a piece of card and a piece of uh, copy paper so I'm going to try and try and make it straight <laughs> Look straight from from this uh, position. Well, if it's not straight now, then <laughs> it's a bit it's a bit late. with that um, I don't think it needs anything else on it I'm obviously going to put something on the pocket so that's that um, so we've got this piece left and this piece so I don't know if I could perhaps have that um, across the pocket I think that would be nice and then that up there, or oh. quite like that. Because obviously there will be something here anyway. Yeah, I'm liking that. So I'm going to stick that around there. Because it does look as if it's all those plants just growing growing together right I think it was around there okay let me just check 
let everything stuck. It's got a top piece. Okay. So then I'm going to try and uh, line that with that one. So get plenty of glue on this one. So I had to cut some uh, faux postage stamps out from, from the kit, which I originally was uh, going to put on the pockets. So I don't know if just to have one on that side or I don't know if I'll go for a label. Right, I'm going to stand up. I think think that's about as straight as I'm going to get it. I'll just give that. Okay. it like that too um so let's have a look at um what we'd cut out so i had got oh that's nice don't think we want the plain i did just get some plain ones out just in in case um and with that one which is it's quite uh, similar, I think, flower-wise. It's not so much leaf-wise, perhaps leaf-wise. That's um, a better match. I think having one on each side is is too, too much. So I do like that. Yeah, I'm not... I cut these out just in case I use those for for pockets and actually it was pretty spot on um, size so I, didn't, I was thinking about um, having that as a pocket so do I want that there or do I want that there and I thought that no I don't like that there at all don't like it there so I'm definitely putting this up here so that's that's made that decision don't like it though why did I do it like that Where I want <laughs> should have thought about this. Just get under there. Okay, right, I'm going to ink, ink around this. So, do 
two around it like that, two around it like that. And are we leaving that plain or are we putting something there? I think we've probably got enough green um, if we was to put anything else in. I think, um, but see, once you've got things in, obviously it's, it's not going to be as... Um, you know, it's going to cover some of the <coughs> images up. So, um, let me get, I'm just having a look over here. So, I wonder if about it's too long. I don't really want fern, bloom. It might be nice if I rip it a little bit more. Seed, leaf. Oh, I'm going to see if I can rip that down a little bit more. So this is from a kit from uh, Nikki Adigan, Musings by Nikki. I think it is uh, just to kit what's got words in. I don't think it was part of uh, another kit, if I remember rightly. I think it's probably a one page or two page uh, printout with just definitions on. So I'm just going to go around it all just to give it, well, to make it a little bit smaller. And um, yeah, I like that. Let's um, ink that up. Definitely prefer it on that side. Um, do you feel like needs something up here? Because my face, uh, my face, my eyes keep getting uh, drawn up there, and then there's nothing, nothing up there. Feeling like it needs to be brown. Treat. I think it needs to be more one this way. Okay, kind of like that. So we'll keep keep that out. And I really love the, the colour of that on, on that green. But, um, yeah, it's it's not really big enough. So I'll keep those out. Um, I prefer that. Some uh, 
brown paper and I'm thinking of just going around it just a little bit so let me just rough rough edge this um, so if we go like that probably that If that will matter or or not. Oh, it looks like we're having a bit of a collage now. <laughs> oh, yeah, I like that. Okay. Uh, originally, I was gonna, you know, do a whole box and then have that on top, but actually now I quite like <coughs> um, that. Let's. Like um, the darkness of of the of the green. Do I? Uh, yeah, I do. But <laughs> talking to myself, um, I don't actually with that. But I am wondering. But then. With that being a pocket in and out, is it going to be too, too much? So maybe I could do something over there with that. Um, rip a bit of tea bag, and then I've just spotted this chocolate tissue, and I think that'll probably be. Um, oh dear, what am I doing? <laughs> this is a funny, funny tea bag surprising the um the shapes and stuff oh well obviously they're all rect well they're not all rectangular because you can get round ones but um yeah this isn't happening for me um right let's see what we can do with that bit so maybe If I want that going like the full kind of length, or maybe I've thought at the bottom, not there. I feel like the dark one needs to be on top. So, go like that, like that. No, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ink this up and I'm gonna stick that down because I definitely want that piece. Um, I think I probably need to look at um, something like putting a piece of something like that in. I think I'm going to go with the brown tissue um, instead of the, the tea bag. But um, 
once we get this done. So I'm going to position it more upwards and, and to, the, to the right. like so so do I want the brown at the bottom maybe I need to just screw it up a little bit I like that. So we either want something coming out there. Um, I don't know if I've got any little pieces already uh, ripped. Let's have a look before I start ripping into anything. I've got a feeling these are all full pages so I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go for that one so I'm just going to what are we going to do I am going to just rip um, a strip all the way um, across so let's just rip down there. So say that was there-ish. So that was there-ish. That's there-ish. <laughs> no, I'm just not feeling it. Not feeling it. Oh, I like that. I prefer that. There. Right, let's ink, ink that up. Like so. I'm going to stick this down and commit myself to this one. So, kind of that. Let's have a look at that. So, do I want the brown? This is took ages, isn't it? Yeah. I just haven't seen the time. I'm gonna go for that. So I'm just gonna stick that there and stick that there. Yep. So yeah, I'm I'm happy with that. Um and I think I'm gonna leave that um as it is and I'm gonna just leave it on my desk and keep looking at it and seeing where I want to go because I am thinking now I've added this bit of dark maybe I do need to carry it on somewhere um I am really liking the thought of having that there but 
like I say, it is just going to get get ripped and then not look very very nice. So I think we need the brown up there to um, to balance that that out. So let me just ink ink that, and then I think once that's done, I can then just keep looking at it and see see what I want with this um, pocket. Do I want the plan underneath? Do I want just a bit poking out? No, I'm just gonna put it down uh, like so. straight or not just stand up okay so yeah I'm gonna let it sit and just keep keep looking at it um, I think I'll put that away I don't think that's gonna be the one so I need to make my mind up if to do something like that Definitely don't want to keep it playing. I don't know if I really need to carry this over here and do do just a little kind of cluster thing there. Um, so I'm going to leave that out and leave that out and just keep keep looking at it. So I may finish this. Uh, on on one of the vlogs and the next time we come back I, I'll show it you and then we can get on with with the next page Oof, I'm exhausted <laughs> that was was a lot of um, thinking but yeah I'm pleased with with how it's turned out um, I was really worried about the ripping out of the pocket things uh, but yeah I think it's all all turned out okay and I think, you know, it's a nice, um, you know, a continue continuation of. Um, I think on this page, definitely going to have to have, you know, another writing sparks. We've got one there um, and got one there and a little bit there. So... I think maybe in these I might have actual uh, writing paper in them and then we'll have um, a writing spot spot there so thank you very much for, for joining me I really enjoyed that but yeah I feel exhausted <laughs> so I shall see you tomorrow Um, I don't know if this video will actually go out boxing day um but i know that's where i kind of am with filming so i hope everybody has had um a nice christmas uh christmas day and, and boxing day um you know wherever you've been and whatever you've been doing and you know if you've not been able to spend time with with family and and loved ones I know it's it's gonna you know be a, a tough time for for some people, but um, yeah, we must soldier on and you know believe that there is only good to to come um, and get back to normal and hopefully um, you know appreciate those things that that we've missed out on and stuff um, a little bit a little bit more. So. If, you know, or I hope you've had time, you know, it might have gave you time for uh, crafting and or just relaxing, just sitting watching films. Um, but, yeah, this year we decided not to have a Christmas dinner. Um, not because we're, you know, sad and was going off. We're not having Christmas kind of thing. Um, just for the fact of... You know, the last few years we, we've had my partner's dad. Um, we obviously haven't had him this year. So, 
with me working Christmas Eve and Boxing Day and then we had his dad for quite a few days over the Christmas period the last two years I just found uh, it, it's just exhausting so um, yeah I said with it only being me Ryan and Alna this year I said um, what about just having some steak and um, some nice vegetables and um, a nice sauce and then you know just actually spending the day playing games and uh watching telly without uh you know me being a hostess and cooking and pot washing and you know by the time everything's done i'm normally ready ready for bed it, it's just i find it all so so exhausting so hopefully because you know i'm filming in front hopefully we've had a lovely time and it's been uh more relaxing i hope we don't think on the day that oh i wish we had have you know done the same thing as we've always done and had turkey and uh you know have like five course dinner and uh all the rest of it so yeah hopefully it's it's all been worth it and uh my plan was then to have a roast on on the Sunday um, because then I will be off for a, a few days and stuff and I do think you know yeah obviously Christmas is on Christmas Day but you don't have to do everything on on that that day um, I think now with us all leading you know busy lives and and our people you know living away from each other and having you know, all the in-laws to go to and all things like that. Sometimes you just have to do things on, on different days and, and all the rest of it. Um, I, I don't know why we do have to be so. Well, we always do do this. Um, I think we just feel a little bit, I don't know, a little bit anxious uh, that, you know, things aren't the same and, and things. But, yeah anyway i'm going <laughs> so whatever you've been doing um i hope you've you've had a, a lovely time and you know let's hope that next year is gonna be um you know a, a lot better so bye see you soon <laughs>